Hello and welcome to a channel update video. I have so much I want to say, so much I want to talk about, but I figured I should just start with uh, the biggest news, and that is that I'm going to be posting variety content to this channel. My GTA Online content is not going anywhere. I will still be posting weekly updates, bonus guides if, you know, Rockstar ever decides to do a bonus again, it's been so long. Uh, my community posts are staying, my shorts are staying, and any DLC overviews that come in the future, I will still be posting those. But I want to spice it up and also throw in some other games and gameplay content alongside all of that. I'll get into the reasoning behind all this in a bit, but before I do, I just wanted to thank you guys all so much for being a part of this amazing community that we have going on here. Almost 10,000 subscribers, 1,400 videos, and over 10 years later, still going strong. And that kind of leads me into my next topic, my name. Now, some of you might only know me as Thrasefa6, but it's actually a pretty recent name change. When I first created this channel in 2013, I was James2756 plays MC, because at the time I was only posting Minecraft content. Then in 2016, when I switched to Variety, I switched my name to James2756. Then when I first started getting into posting just GTA Online content, I changed it to James. From there, uh, I got a lot of comments talking about my name needed a change, it was uncreative, and I honestly agreed. So I took some time and I thought up Thrasefa6. If you're wondering how I got the inspiration for Thrasefa6, I took the numbers of my username, James3756, so 3756, and shortened them and made them into a word slash name, Thrasefa6. Next, I want to talk about why exactly I became a GTA Online only channel in the first place for the past, like, pretty much three years. It all started back in 2020 when I posted my first ever GTA Online video. It was the Solomon vehicle prop video, and it had gotten more success than I had ever seen on my channel. I think that one video had more views than my entire channel's worth of videos combined between 2013 and when I posted it in 2020. And to me, that was a big deal, so I kept posting variety after that. Uh, I was posting like a Halo 2 full playthrough, I was doing Fall Guys, a little bit of Minecraft, but I also started adding in more and more GTA Online content to that mix. And eventually it came to the point where I decided to just full send it into GTA Online content only. And for the first couple years of that, it was going great. People were commenting on my videos the moment they were posted, and I was getting a lot of amazing feedback, and I really felt like we had a community going. But this last, like, year and a half, I'm starting to see a decline in that, and I also started to notice a decline in GTA Online itself. So after I realized GTA Online was declining and Rockstar wasn't doing anything to try to stop it from declining, I decided that if I kept posting GTA Online content that my channel was going to start declining too, so I need to start posting some other things that will hopefully interest existing viewers of my channel, as well as potentially some new ones. I understand if this change that I'm making upsets some of you and you no longer want to uh, stay subscribed because you only wanted to see GTA Online videos in your feed. I completely understand that. And there's also a large part of my community that isn't even subscribed. And for those people, they might honestly not even realize that anything has changed. If the algorithm just keeps showing them only my GTA Online content and nothing else, there's a chance that they won't even know any change has taken place. And since that is a large portion of my community, uh, those people should be pretty much unaffected. Now, I do hope to grow my community to new members and also hopefully keep uh, some of you guys here with me, whether you're gonna stick around just for the uh, continued GTA Online content, or if you're interested in watching some of my new series, uh, then hey, I'm all for that and thank you so much. Alongside the variety content, I also am going to be returning to live streaming, starting with on Twitch and then 
maybe hopefully slowly starting to stream on YouTube here as well. So that's it for the updates and changes of my channel in this video. But before I wrap it up, I did just want to show you guys something that I've kind of been working on this last year. Uh, it's not really exactly working on it. It's just some of my shorts that I made and then decided not to post. All the previous years of me doing videos and then getting all the way to the point where they're edited but then I watched them back and realized this isn't good enough content. I need to redo it. I just usually threw those in the recycle bin and forgot about them. But this year was different because it was really the year of me posting a bunch of shorts. And with shorts, they don't take up that much file space. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to save these in a folder. And at the end of the year, I'm going to show them to everyone and see what their thoughts were on some content that never was meant to be. Before you watch these, do keep in mind that the whole reason they are here in this video and they weren't posted at the time that I made them was because after I recorded them, edited them, wrote a script for some of them, voiced all of them over, I decided they weren't good enough. They weren't content that I myself would watch. There, There's a, a certain quality standard, I guess you could say, I've applied to my channel. And it pretty much goes like this. If I wouldn't watch it myself, I straight up just don't post it. So with that being said, I just wanted to thank you all again for watching and joining me on my YouTube journey. And I hope you enjoy this little look on videos that could have been. Thanks guys. Peace. I made nearly 200k in a single match of Overtime Rumble. I joined a quick play adversary mode and got sent into a match of Triple Money Overtime Rumble 1 mid stunt jump. I loaded straight into the lobby on a team of 3 up against a team of 4. Everything seemed normal at first until I noticed that one of the enemies had left and then looked closer and noticed there were 7 attempts per round. The first two rounds played out normally with a couple missed fivers, but ultimately putting my team in the lead. Each attempt was taking about two minutes, and people started getting bored and leaving. By the end of the final round, it had been over 30 minutes and only three total remaining players. And that's how... While driving my Patriot mill spec, a player attacked me. After respawning, I followed them into the city where I tried to have a sniper duel with them, but they kept easy way outing. I even tried sneaking up on them with the RC tank, but that failed as well. I followed them to their hangar at LSIA and shot down their jets just as they were taking off in it. Then I went out onto the airfield in my Night Shark, and after a few more easy way outs, the mission glitched away and I had to give up on the fight. GG. I was doing my daily Lucky Wheel spin when this happened. I was escaping a wanted level when an oblivious cop walked past me. After losing the stars, as I was leaving the area, a NPC ran into me. I was enjoying my time at the fountain when a modder spawned exploding cars on me. I respawned and saw the modder disguised as an NPC, so I pulled out my stun gun and tased them. Against a normal modder, this wouldn't have done anything, but since they were using an NPC to disguise themselves, it broke through their god mode and killed them. GG. There are a lot of players down here, including the insurgent that I was talking about earlier, and that car just teleported in front of me. And then this guy's hitting. Are you kidding me? These random NPCs and then Insurgent are costing me my tip. How dare they? Is the jet attacking the blimp? Because if that's the case, I can help the blimp. Well, we're about to find out. Let's see. Um, you're kidding me, right? Did I just witness 
a blimp take out a jet by crashing into it? You've gotta be kidding me. I was riding my power surge when a Raiju attacked me. After dodging the missiles, I used the compact EMP launcher to ground the Raiju. The pilot panicked and ejected out of the Raiju and I went in for the kill, but they were in god mode. Fortunately for me, this modder had no idea that the god mode didn't protect them from themselves, so when I got close to them and they blew me up, they died in the process. GG.